Morphing abilities, automation, and obstacle avoidance are quickly becoming key attributes of the modern drone. We have seen basic swarm capabilities as depicted in light shows along with modular formations building bigger crafts. However, the next drone evolution is here. Zhejiang University has built a swarm which does not rely on GPS and instead can navigate using onboard sensors along with algorithms to map the local environment. The group of 10 drones in formation can share data collected by the swarm. And the swarm has an ability to adapt when a drone is lost or destroyed. With advances in processing and unsupervised learning, one can only imagine where this technology will be within 10 years. However, there are many amazing drones out there, so let's take a look at some of the most unique ones so far. At number 7, the Interceptor Drone. That irritable high flying drone can now be countered by something a little bit more unconventional. The Interceptor drone, built by Mr. Zelvitsky, can fly and detach itself underneath its target. It does this by detaching its motors and releasing a Kevlar net which spreads out and quickly disables the other craft. A parachute is then deployed by the Interceptor, with the target hopefully not falling down on civilians. The system is not completely autonomous, so it does require some accurate tangling skills. Moving on, we get to the FSAM monocopter. A few self-stabilizing monocopters exist, proving that you can actually build a pretty advanced flying stick. This particular one takes it to the next level because it can not only fold up, but it's highly automated as well. The actuator gives complete directional control with an increase of RPM for gains in altitude. Repetitive motor pulsing at a particular point during the spin will also control the direction of the craft. It operates in motion capture via video to explore environments, but it also could be outfitted with a LiDAR system as well. We get to number 5, and it's a robotic fruit picker. Autonomous swarm capability will be a key attribute for future drones, and this will hopefully not disrupt the labor markets. These are actually four drones electrically tethered to a vehicle, which acts as a power source and collection point. Each drone has its onboard camera along with vision algorithms to pick out the apples. Input variables such as size or even ripeness can be adjusted as well. The drones are all tethered so they can have a hefty power source on the vehicle and run for a long time. However, this definitely comes down to the efficiency of the system. We get to a weird perching robot at number 4. Drones can now pick up humans and drop them off to their overlords. But all jokes aside, parrotlets actually gave a critical clue about the art of perching. They let their feet handle the variability of the surface without actually thinking about what they are landing on. The snag mimics this behavior by utilizing a 3D printed structure, fishing line as tendons, and motors. This configuration allows the legs to absorb impact energy, lock within 20 milliseconds, and stabilize with an accelerometer. At number 3, we get to another bizarre anomaly, and this particular hybrid is armed with self folding propellers for underwater movement. Just like its real life counterpart, the drone is outfitted with an attachable disc with mini channels, and these network of channels can be pumped full of liquid for suction. In turn, the drone can go underwater and attach itself to an underwater host or a stationary object for long-term observation. However, as we all know, signal degradation is a real thing underwater and there needs to be a high level of automation developed in this drone. At number 2, the Flowcopter. Combustion-based multicopters can definitely fly longer and lift heavier loads, but they lack flight response when compared to electric drives. The Flowcopter could be an answer to this problem since it runs on a combustion engine, but it also utilizes digital displacement pumps, which actually drive hydraulic motors at the props. The pumps are able to distribute and regulate hydraulic flow between a number of different outputs, and this is all controlled digitally with excellent response time. The motors are rated for 120 horsepower each, but we also have to keep in mind that that is at peak power, so there is definite sustained power loss. However, the drone can last for over 6 hours in the air. After covering the Michael Flyer in a previous video, many pointed out that it wasn't technically a drone, since it never had a real propulsion system. But now there is a type of bicopter, which has a similar design, but this one can actually fly. With a small battery, the drone weighs 35 grams and can fly for over 24 minutes. Full 3D control is achieved by pulsing the propellers at specific points in the rotation of the vehicle. 
so it kind of acts like that monocopter which I covered before. Automating the craft is a little bit tricky, so multiple video frames are inputted simultaneously, thus recording every direction at once and allowing the craft to know where it is. And of course, this kind of system is also scalable, so we will likely see smaller versions in the future. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these different types of drones. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.